there's a verse in the Bible which uh, speaks very strong into my heart and maybe you have heard it from me before um, and this verse was given to me uh, just over 20 years ago and in fact last week was 20 years ago when uh, someone gave me this verse uh, it was a time when I was leaving uh, Brazil uh, to go into mission and to serve the Lord and um, I didn't know at that time uh, that I would need that verse so much and the Lord has several several times during these 20 years uh, remind me uh, of this verse and again today someone sent me the same verse I was already planning to talk about it and I read today again about this verse so I think it's very appropriate I share with you it is in Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 and the verse say be strong and courageous do not be afraid or discouraged or terrified for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go it is interesting that if you read that chapter chapter 1 the word uh, be strong or the or courageous comes up four times just in the chapter 1 and uh, and Joshua he was about to cross uh, the river uh, Jordan River at that time when the Lord gave him that word and it was a big uh, thing for him and for his friends together but it is for us many times for you and me we might have big things ahead of us that we are afraid and we are terrified and things that bring us fear uh, and we need to remember that the Lord has promised to be with us and uh, that word that is at the beginning of the verse 9 it says uh, haven't I commanded you so the Lord has commanded this is not only a suggestion it's a command to be strong and to be courageous and when we have courage it actually enables us uh, uh, to think a bit more clearly and oh uh, even though when we have uh, among danger or fear or difficult we know that the Lord is there with us uh, I would like to encourage you uh, with this verse and I would like to pray that you and I can remember uh, to be strong and courageous, courageous, even when we don't feel like, even when we are terrified, even when we are fearful, even when we think there is no solution and we don't know what to do. We need to remember that the Lord is with us in all the circumstances and the Lord is ahead of us. He knows what's going to happen. And so uh, I would like to pray uh, for us now. Lord, we thank you so much that you can encourage us today we thank you so much that verses in the bible that meant a lot to us long ago is still meaning to us now and lord i pray for me and for my brothers and sisters for anyone who is listening to this uh, that you would bring to our minds the assurance that you are with us in all the circumstances lord wherever we go wherever it happens your presence is constant. Your presence is always there. And Lord, you are God who can bring order even when there are very chaotic situations uh, with us, Lord, around us. You are the Lord that we can trust. Thank you so much for this assurance. In Jesus' name, amen.